Drunk English been here. Folks, today I want to share my thoughts on religion. Now, a lot of you bastards out there are very religious. Now, I'm not saying there's nothing, you know, wrong with that at all. You believe what you're going to believe. But me personally, you mean you might call me an atheist bastard who doesn't believe in anything. But I do believe in something. I believe in science, folks. I believe in evolution. You know, it, it's crazy to think that we are still evolving as a human race, you know, today. Now, you look at earlier species, like fish, for example. You know, we're going to get deep in this topic here today. I want to prove a point to you bastards that, oh, you know, there's some holy rollers out there that push religion, God, Jesus on people. I'm not saying, you know, you should stop what you believe in, but don't be pushing it on bastards like me. You know, I, I, I believe highly in science and evolution. I mean, it just makes sense. You look at all the animals out there. You know, all the different species of animals and, and things that we haven't even discovered yet, folks. And you got to say to yourself that we, we, we paint a picture bigger of ourselves than we actually are. There's more to life than just human beings. And that's where things get crazy. Because you think of Jesus and God giving his only son and, and blah, blah, blah. You might not like what I have to say about this, but you got to think... Are you going to be reasonable when I come out and say these things? If you're watching this video and you you might hate me for saying some of these things, you know, but that's not what your religion preaches. Your religion preaches you've got to do good, not sin, and praise Jesus, Lord, the Savior's cross. That's just one of the religions. Now, you got to think of that too. There's so many other damn religions, you know what I'm saying? There's so many people that believe in so many different things. And when you're just focused on your religion that you accept, that's where things get crazy in my opinion. How can one religion be right, you know? And then some people say, oh, all the religions out there are all the same. No, they're not, you know? You all believe in something. Now, I believe in science. So maybe science is more religion. But I believe in facts, you know? I believe in what I see. And I've never seen, you know, what Jesus did back then. You know, I'm just using Jesus as one of the, uh, the examples. But there's plenty of other religions. But Jesus is one that a lot of people push on people. You know, Christianity, Catholicism. I was raised Catholic, you know, Roman Catholic. And then as I was going through the motions in church, I started to get bored. They keep on saying the same stuff every Sunday. You know, when you go to church in, in the in the Catholic religion, they uh, a lot of people call Catholic religion heathens. Like, uh, I think it's, I can't even, you know, I, I had a, a stand-up comedy bit last night, and I'm still a little hungover from that, so I can't think of a lot of religions right now. But Muslim, you know, they're different. You got Buddhist, you know, there's Protestants, I think it was. I think Protestants was the one. I have a friend that's a Protestant, and he called the Catholic religion a bunch of heathens. You know, I'm like, well, that's really nice. It's called a bunch of people you don't know heathens for what they believe in. I'm a little stuffed up, folks, too. There's a bunch of pollen here, Florida. Florida's just absolutely atrocious right now, pollen. Sneezing, got allergies up my ass. But, staying on topic, I believe in evolution, all right? All these other people bash each other's own religions. They're supposed to be holy religious. You know, there's also a bunch of people that make a lot of money off of religion. You know, the Catholic Church makes a ton of money off of religion. And it shouldn't be that way. It should not be that way. It should be trying to help one another. If you're into that kind of thing. In my opinion, if you're into religion, you should be trying to be self-medicating yourself. You know, so you should be a... To feel good about yourself, feel good that you're going to go to heaven or whatever, which is another crap, you know, a crock of shit. There's no heaven out there. You die, you die. You know, you, you think all these animals that die, like I use animals as a, as, a, as a good example for everything because I feel like we, as, a, as humans, 
go through life, we go through the motions, you know, we don't know what's really going on, we're living on a damn rock in space. Some people even think that rock is flat, you know. Oh, you know, oh, God help you. See what I'm saying? God help you. It's been instilled in our brains to say, God bless you when you sneeze. God help you. God save you. And it'll have mercy on his soul. It's been instilled in our brains. I'm trying to get this out correctly because a lot of you bastards are going through the motions. What I mean going through the motions, you're taught this from an early age. It's instilled into your brain. You know what I'm saying? It's like the matrix, the blue pill. It's instilled into your brain to believe in something. That you, if you do good, you know, it's just to keep us in law, I think, religion. A lot of religion is just to keep your bastard in the law. Instead of just going out and doing whatever you want. Look, uh, Satanism. Satanism. If you, I read the Satanic Bible, it says, do whatever you want. Have all the pleasures in your life. Who cares about sinning? It's the opposite of Christianity. You know, you're not worshipping the devil, because the devil ain't real, folks. You know, some people say the devil's in all of us, you know, they're just waiting to come out, the devil will strike. There's no such thing as the devil, in my opinion. I've never seen the bastard, i never talked to the bastard, just like I never talked to God. I talk to this beer, I talk to you. You guys, they're listening to this video, this beer is more real than God and, and the devil. I don't believe in that crap. I believe in science, which gets me to my next and final point. Back then, you know, we found bones of dinosaurs, and we found bones of early human-like species. Apes, uh, I think they said, Homo sapiens, whatever. We found early human structural bones about 8 million years ago, I think. 2 to 8 million years ago. Before Christ and all that. We found dinosaur bones. There's been things living way before humans. And that's a fact, because we found bones. Some might say those are fake damn bones. If you read the Bible, he doesn't mention anything about prehistoric beast. He mentions Adam and Eve, just two bastards put on here by God. They and they and they evolve into us, you know. They make babies or whatever. I, don't, I never really read the damn book. I started reading the, uh, one of the many Bibles. There's so many damn Bibles, and then somebody's like, "Oh, you got to read this one." No, I'm just gonna read one. You know, there's too many different versions. There's harder ones to read, there's easier ones to read. But it might help some people, the Bible, but it's really to keep you in law, in my opinion. But this, we had prehistoric beasts, we had fish. You know, there's still animals in the ocean that we never discovered. We've had lots of fish. They've grew arms, supposedly, and started walking underneath the water. So I think we might have evolved from fish. Another another thing that we might leave out is other other life forms from other planets might have gotten here way before there was humans and crossbreeded. Who knows? We might be an alien species from a different planet before we actually evolved on this planet. Who knows? That's what I'm thinking. Is if you look at your bastard skin, it's kind of reptile-like with all the. All the scales and stuff. If you look closely at your skin, you kind of look. You can see all this bunch of weird little lines. And if you look at a reptile skin, it looks the same. You know, I'm not saying we're reptiles. Or some bastards think that there's reptiles among us right now in the government. But there's a lot of stuff to make you think. You know, just to, to think that religion, some some people, their whole lives dedicated to religion. You know, and that, that makes me sad because the whole the whole life you could be living, just one big lie. You know, if it gets you through your life, then oh well, but if there's nothing after your life, you just wasted your whole damn life on something that was a lie. And I'm not about to do that. My goal in life is to have as much damn fun and drink as much damn alcohol as I can until I die. Because you never know when you're going to die. Now, if you're not going somewhere else, like a lot of you bastards believe, like heaven on earth or whatever, heaven, you know, then you're not going to see your loved ones that you, that you grew up with all your life, you know. You know, it's a, you got to think of this too. Well, it's going to be a bunch of old, because mostly people die when they're old, so there's just going to be a bunch of old bastards in heaven 
walking around with their walkers and wheelchairs and their dementia. They don't know where the frick they're at. They don't even know if they're in heaven because they're so damn old when they died. You're just going to die old and then go to heaven and be all crippled for the rest of your life in heaven? Or you're magically going to go back to whatever time you want to be at, whatever age? And there's a lot of questions. Just to think that there's something like that is just... I'm not going to say stupid, even though I just said it. But it, it's mind-boggling to me. It's really mind-boggling. And then if you're bad in life, they say you go in hell. You go in hell, you bastard. You're going to burn for the rest of your life in hell. You're going to meet Satan and he's going to lash you for eternity. Eternity, whatever that means. They use that a lot in, in, in religion. Eternity. Who even knows what eternity is? Eternity is rotten out to a passed up, you know, passed out drunk for eternity. I hope you guys are following along here. I might sound crazy bastard drunk, but I kind of feel like I'm making sense to you bastards out there. Leave a comment down, you know, tell me what you think. Just don't make it too nasty if you want them Bible pushes. I don't really want to hear it. I don't care what you have to say. What I, what I care about is, is, is evolution, where we came from. Scientists still really don't know. You know, they really don't know. And, and what, what, I, what I believe, this is what I truly believe, and I'm still skeptical about it, is that we came from a different species. We came from a different planet or, or somewhere out there. You know, there's millions of possibilities. But I think we evolved into what we are today and we are still evolving. Believe it or not, folks, we are still evolving. We teach our kids now, when you have a kid in this generation, we teach our kids different things. More entertainment, more technological than what we teach the kids, I'd say, in the 1940s. You know, when we didn't have cell phones and all that. We were going through wars. But now we're a little more advanced, even though some of us act like a bunch of damn morons still. We are evolving. Whether we like it or not, you know, we are getting different. And we're probably going to start looking different over time, too. With all these different races, you know, we have a different species. We have interbreedings. People are trying to become men, women, whatever. It, 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 we all evolve. Maybe not for the better, but maybe not. You know, who knows? But you've got to ask yourself, are we evolving? And I say yes. And, and, and if you're going to believe in religions, which religions cost a lot of wars too. A lot of people died over religions, folks. Believe it or not, a lot of people have died in believing what they believed. And that's sad to me because you're believing in something and then it gets you killed. It's, it, it, it's kind of asinine. It's really kind of asinine. That's why I don't believe in anything. I believe in... This beer, and I believe in having a damn good time. Your your time on Earth, you never know when it's gonna last. You know when it's gonna end. You know, it, it all suggests that you bastards start having some damn fun with it. Do something that you never done before. You know, get out of your comfort zone. You know, I just did a stand up show last night in front of all these people who were staring at me. I just went out there and had a good time. I didn't care if they were laughing or not. They did at some of my damn jokes, but I just, it's, a, it's the experience. You go out there and you have some fun. You know, never know what's going to happen. Pick up a guitar, start playing a guitar. Pick up a new hobby. You know, I play ice hockey. I'm not very good at it, but I've been playing a long time and I have fun at it. It's different experiences. Go somewhere you've never been before. Try a new beer. Try a new drink. If you never drank before, try a drink. Become an alcoholic. You know, there's no, you know, sinning, whatever, sin all you want, you know, have a threesome or not, have group sex party or something, you know, you, you could die tomorrow going to work in your vehicle, so just do what you want, folks, don't, don't follow religion, you know, or follow religion, I really don't give a damn, if it makes you happy, it makes you happy, you know, maybe if you like me, maybe still pick up a barble. Do something with your life. You know, maybe I should stop reading the damn Bible. Maybe I should read the L. Ron Hubbard's book on Scientology. Do something different. You know, life is short, folks. But if you're following something that maybe is not true, you got to look in the mirror and think, 
Maybe I'm wasting my life. Thanks for watching, folks, and have a drink on me. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment on what your religion is, or even if you don't care, or even if you think I'm a bastard. Thanks for watching, folks.